Hello and welcome to the Dumb Shit's Guide to Hostile Neural Networks, a mod simulating um, the killing of mobs in Minecraft and processing their loot in, in an automated fashion to save you from having to make up a spawn and all that jazz. Today I'll be showing you basically how the mod works and how to get it set up. So to start off with, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a deep learner, a model framework, a simulation chamber, and a loop fabricator. What a simulation chamber does is it takes a data model and it basically runs a simulation of killing that mob. If the simulation is successful, then you get um, a prediction and you also get a generalized prediction. The generalized prediction can be used to craft a multitude of other items. Let's have a look at some of them. So the generalized uh, overworld one, for example, can be used to make rotten flesh, iron, arrows, the nether version, prismarine, gunpowder, bone, etc., etc., etc. You will also get a prediction of the mob itself. So let's say we're using a creeper, for example. So we're going to go creeper prediction. You're going to get one of these. This can be some simulated in the loop fabricator into either 32 gunpowder, four creeper heads, or the catalyzing glands from reliquary, which is done in here. Now, how do you get a data model? So let's pick a mob. Um, your options are from here. Uh, if you got host at hostile neural networks and JEI, these are the, the mobs that you can choose. So you can choose some of the ones from Twilight Forest, um, some of the ones from just basic Minecraft, and even the piglet from the Ulamodium. Uh, in this example, we're just going to go a wither skeleton because that's easier. Skeleton. Now, we're going to place the wither skeleton inside this cage that I've made right here. And we're going to... Oh, we need to put the difficulty on. Uh, difficulty, let's just go easy. Put a wither skeleton down and then click it with a model framework and that will create a wither skeleton data model. Now you can have up to four different data models inside of your deep learner. Uh, for this example, we're just going to have the one. However, you can have up to four and it'll um, learn for all four simultaneously. So if you have four with the skeleton ones in here, then you will be able to train four models simultaneously. Now, the thing is with hostile neural networks is you can't just get the model and then use it. You have to train it a little bit first. So we're going to place that in our offhand. As you can see, it says faulty model in the top left. It means we need to get six more kills for it to be able to go up a tier. So let's kill these guys. Like so. Grab all their useless drops and just get rid of them because we don't want them. Did I throw away something important? I don't think I did. Okay, so we've got six. Now it's a basic model. Now we're gonna open this back up and we're gonna grab it out. I'm gonna place it inside this one because I've already got this one used for example. So we're gonna place it in here. Now, as you can see, it's can't run this. It's running the simulation now because it has prediction matrices. These are pretty easy to auto craft, especially in all the mods nine. Uh, I would recommend setting up an ME requester for it, just so that, that you constantly have some in stock. But the recipe is pretty simple. Uh, prediction matrix just costs iron, clay, gold, and glass panes. This can all be easily automated using mystical agriculture. All you'll need is iron seeds, gold seeds, dirt seeds, fire seeds, and I think it's water seeds. The fire and water seeds are used to make the clay. The fire and, sorry, the dirt and water seeds are used to make the clay. The fire and dirt seeds are used to make sand. And that sand can be smelted and then crafted into glass panes. Iron and gold are self-explanatory. So we've got prediction matrices in here. As you can see, the prediction failed. It's going to run it again. Iteration number three starting, loading model from the memory, assessing threat, engaging, and failed. That means we're not getting the model this time. As you can see, there's a percentage right here. That slime is annoying me. Uh, difficulty, peaceful. This one over here, as you can see, is running a bit, a bit better. Not much better, but as you can see, the model accuracy is 24.44%. Basically, how the accuracy works is the more kills that you get, the more the higher chance you are of getting the actual mob prediction. Now, you can either do this by manually killing the mobs like we just did, or you can just leave it in here to run, and every single time it iterates, it, the model accuracy will get higher. As you can see, it was 24.44 before. Now it's 24.72. So every time this simulation runs, you have a higher chance of getting that um, prediction. Now, if we have a look into here, as you can see, there's none actually in there because it's still on a pretty low percentage right now. So we're going to grab one out of our inventory. Let's just grab five. And then you can see the different selections. I've already got gunpowder selected. However, you can select one of these other two and it'll automatically do the same one every time. And so how the system works, we have an export bus in the top, exporting prediction matrices. 
We have an import bus in the bottom of both of these. We have an export bus in the top of this one, and we're actually going to need a wither skeleton prediction. And we're going to place it on the export bus of this one. So it's e importing everything from here, exporting the creep predictions into here, exporting the wither skeleton predictions into here. Now, it's still not running very accurately because only one in every 10 will work, or less than that, like one in every however many will work. But when we, if we, let's say that it did go through and it worked and we got the prediction, place it in here, and you can choose from any of these items, with the skull fragments, bones, coal, with the bones, with the ribs, or with the skeleton skulls. Let's just choose with the skeleton skulls for the sake of this example. And so every time this succeeds, you get three. Now, once this is, gets to a high enough level, once you leave it running for maybe half an hour to an hour, uh, it'll be around 99%. Uh, there's no, it doesn't get up to 100%, I don't think, but it'll run about 99%, which is self-aware, which basically means almost every single prediction you do, you'll get the loot from it. So for example, this takes about 10 to 15 seconds to run. About 10 seconds, yeah. So every 10 seconds, we'll get 32 gunpowder. From this one, it takes about well, once it was at self-aware, it would take about 10 seconds to run, and every 10 seconds we'd get three weather skeleton skulls. This can be scaled up. So what I like to do uh, in my current survival playthrough is I actually have one for the wither going. And the wither one, I'm, I've got about four um, simulation chambers and one loot fabricator. That is just enough to keep up with the speeds of how often the predictions are produced, which means I get one nether star every about four nether stars every 10 seconds because one will finish the next one will go in one will finish the next one will go in yada 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 so on and so forth um you can scale this up however much however much you want however there's no way to speed them up so you're gonna have to find that ratio of how many simulation chambers per loot fabricator which i believe from what i've been told for just one mob it's about i think it's four at self-aware is the optimum the optimum range if you will or optimum range optimum amount so it'd be like if you want just creepers going like that is the optimum the optimum like ratio and you can just scale this up you can just keep going you can go just make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them and have them all set up and all running and they're very very lag friendly which is good other than that though this mod this mob oh, mod is pretty simple to understand um something very important to know is that your the um the, the machines uh, insert from the top and export from the bottom. So they take items in from the top and export them out the bottom. Um, and they also need power. We've got currently got flux points on these ones. Um, if you're at the point of getting to this stage in the the um, the journey through all the mods nine, then I'm assuming you know how to um, you know set up power. Um, but that's about it for. Um, hostile neural networks if you have any further questions feel free to let me know um please also if you enjoy the video feel free to subscribe and let me know if there's other mods you want me to cover that you're struggling with thank you guys very much for watching and then um but before i go so the, vi the video is over but i just wanted to say a little bit of something um in regards to my previous video uh upon hitting 500 subscribers the um the support on the the 500 subscribe subscribers video was actually really really nice it um sort of gave me the sort of motivation that like people are actually enjoying this shit so they they want to see more uh, i just want to send uh we'll do a special shout out to a few commenters on that video um pm i see the whiskey uh ko basso 2481 duck orchids uh garage nerd i'm um, scroll down a little bit sorry um Alex W579. Uh he he I think he was the guy from the stream. Um Leop Tum and Ethan Moldboy6816. Um and also more most importantly of all, my um my very lovely girlfriend who has been supporting and watching all, all the videos since since the very start. So um I appreciate all of you. The the words that were said on that video were really like heartwarming heartwarming to um to read but yeah i just wanted to say that thank you guys very much for watching and um i'll see you guys in the next video